I'm Joseph, and this is my backyard. Well, right now I'm growing corn, squash, sunflowers, beans, and fig trees. I like them beef. I like them chunky. Chunky! This one's a chunky. Well, if you take a look at this corn here, it's the tallest. It's absolutely huge. And the stalk is the thickest out of all of them. And those are both key factors of what you're looking for if you're going to save the seed, which is what I'm going to do. This is an early sun globe variety, which means it's supposed to be done in like two months, hence the early. A lot of the things that I grow are edible because I am a big eater, so I figured why not grow something you can eat, you know. I think the, the fact that I, I come from Mexican ancestry really influenced how, well, how I see the world. And it made me really want to like grow my own food because my mom would always tell me about when she was a little kid and, and her mom, my grandma, would like, would tell her, hey, go get this and that from, from the garden. And that she would run off and go, go pick like berries or stuff from the garden. I, I like the fact that they, they were like self-sufficient, you know, and they could just like go out and get their own food without having to go to the grocery store like we always do. Now I'm going to show you my sunflower, which is absolutely ginormous. <laughs> A funny story. So before this fence was here, I, we had like a little, a small, like six foot fence, but it was at an incline. So basically every time we'd come outside, you would stare with the neighbor and it'd be like an awkward moment. So I decided to grow these, these sunflowers because I read online that they could grow up to like 12 feet tall. And I figured it'd be a good way to block, block us from the neighbors and have less awkward encounters. So this is the new fence, which is significantly taller for the sole purpose of hiding us from my neighbor. Anyways, um, the, the head of the sunflower has a bunch of tiny flowers on every single seed. And this is the actual petal of, of the sunflower. These are, are fake petals to attract the pollinators. And basically, once they get crunchy like this, you know they're ready. And you could just rub off these tiny petals. And so once you take the, the petals off, you, you just break it up. And once you can kind of like rub them, and they'll fall out on their own. So to prepare them, you'd have to like leave them in a brine and then toast them or roast them. My plan in life is, is by the time I'm like 40 at least, have a huge land, preferably on a mountain, and just have like sheep grazing the pasture and have like a field of like corn and, and have like a little garden with all the salad greens, you know? It, it'd definitely be a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle choice. 